breaking news, everyone. Did you know that the best before date on your food can change? Once you open the can, twist the lid, or pop that container, you instantly have a new best before date. And Marilyn Smith is here to show you, she's here to show me, how to figure <laughs> it out. Let's just keep it real. This, this segment's for me. So lay it on us, Mayor. Why is it so important to create a new best before date okay, after well, you open the food? Okay, well, the first reason, okay, look, this, this little can of salmon says it's best before July the 1st, 2025. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We have it forever. You're right, but only if it's in the can. Mm. So when you open it up, null and void, zippity doo dah, ba ba bye. Right. And if you put the other half, it's not going to live for, <laughs> until 2025 in your fridge. And if you do that, you, it will be growing. It will be its own animal in well, your yeah, fridge. Well, yeah, and you'll die. So that, <laughs> you'll the, the die. end. Okay? okay. So you need a best, a new best before date. Okay. And it only works if your fridge is not overcrowded. So if your fridge is oh. like jam packed oh. and you haven't seen the back of it since who knows when, yeah. then you're not getting good air circulation. So the dates are going to be different on the new best before. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and this one's really for you, Tracy. <laughs> yes. And are we looking at me? Okay, yes, good. Yes, I get it. The new best before date is mm -hmm. non-negotiable. I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> It's not a suggestion. It no. means it. You mean it. It's, it's it. So no, if you okay. open that bottle of mayonnaise and it says, you know, your new best before date was August the 11th. Yes. And on October the 1st, you go, I'm going to make potato salad. Yeah. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> you can't use that mayonnaise. No. No, because if you've got a little kid or a senior, they could get really, really sick. Yeah. And if anyone has a compromised immune system, and right now with all the viruses going around, everybody kind of might be a little bit compromised at True. the best of times. And yeah. so you add another, you know, enemy and all of a sudden your body's going Bleh! You know, yeah. and it, you turn into the exorcist. So yeah, we don't you, need it. We no. don't need any extra things no. that might make us ill. And I think I'm um, thank you for saying the seniors and the kids because yes, I might have an huge. iron stomach. But what about the kids and the seniors? Right? Exactly. Right. Okay. okay. So we show up to Marilyn's uh, summer barbecue. Yes. She's got out salsa and she has chips. So how long do the leftovers last? Okay. So just because these are both salsa does not mean they have the same best new new best before date. Okay. So when I open this one, which was shelf stable, yep. it's not in the refrigerated section, it has right. one month in your fridge. One, one month. One month. Oh, my salsa's been in my fridge longer than that. Okay, I'm not coming over. Okay. okay. All right. So one month. One month. And then the okay. fresh salsa, yeah. five days. Well, that does wow. make sense. It's yeah. very fresh. It's not, it's not processed. The chips last forever. For, you know what? Especially if you put them in your freezer. Yeah. Oh, you do that? They'll last way better. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love okay. that. So let's let's do a barbecue. We're at the barbecue, and there's a bunch of condiments. Right. Come on. How many of us have condiments in our fridge that are, you know, about as old as our children? <laughs> or maybe they should not be as older. They shouldn't no. be older than our children. No, they should be younger than your children. Younger by than our a kids. Long, like, yeah, as I have a 32-year-old. And, <laughs> and honestly, I went over to my mom and dad's when they were around, and I literally took things out that should have gone to the Smithsonian. Yes. It was just it's terrifying. Yes. Okay, so one thing first is that when you put all your stuff out in the sun, mm. in the hot summer sun, is only going to last tops about an hour. So I like to put all my condiments in little bits, and then if this comes back in the house, it's going to get pitched, right? And then For I'm not sure. pitching these guys, right? People have been picking through it, too. Like, oh. get rid of it now. Blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sneezing, whatever. Blah. Okay, blah. Anyway, um, <laughs> ketchup is a year in your fridge, in your fridge. Okay? okay, I'll take a year. Mustard any kind is a year in your fridge. Fantastic. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Mayonnaise is only two months. Oh, come on. Come off it. <laughs> it's true. It's the egg of it all. Uh, actually, that's pretty much cooked. It's just because there's a whole bunch of different ingredients in okay. there. So you've got to be really careful. So two months. Buy a smaller jar if you're not going to go through a great big you're one. Buying the big jars. Yeah. Yeah, that's you know, a problem. Bigger Get a than small. your head. Don't use it. Don't it's do bye bye. It. Okay. okay. Pickles and pickle relish a year. Okay. And barbecue sauce is only six months. Why is it only six months? Do we know? Is it a sugar? Is it the sugar in it? No, actually, sugar is a preservative. It so is salt help. and vinegar. But I think there's just so much other stuff in there. I, yeah. I'm not. I don't know the answer. Don't okay, know. Okay, stop but the just professional. Listen, it's six months, six and months, that's it. And All that's right. it. Okay. I love a good summer salad. Oh. Should we talk about the dressing? Yes, we should. Because we keep dressings for a long time at our place. Long time. Okay. Long you time. know what? And that's not bad, depending on which kind it is. So okay. once again, just because it's a salad dressing doesn't have a total answer for everybody, right? Got it. So the one that you buy on the grocery store shelf, six, uh, six months. Months. Okay. And the one that's <laughs> fresh. Gonna say six years. I was going to say six years. Like, what am I talking about? <laughs> um, and the fresh one is two, uh, is three to four weeks. Okay. And the homemade one, especially mm -hmm. if it has something like garlic, uh, buttermilk, or yogurt, is only up to two, three days. Two, three days. Yeah. So that's 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 terrifying. Eat it quick. Uh, feta. Yeah. 
okay, um, two months in, in the fridge. Sure. Um, olives, depending on what kind you got, so the, the ones in, uh, in the jar, 18 months, and the ones in the deli, about four to six weeks. Let's pretend there's leftover wine. Let's pretend. <laughs> what, like, how long will that last us for? Well, you know what, I can't drink a whole bottle anymore, um, and, and Scott doesn't drink, so it's a one to three days. I know wine people are going to go, oh, you're a horrible person, <laughs> you're ruining our wine, but you know, if you put a really good top on it, you know, yeah. and leave it in the fridge, yeah, you know what, you know, maybe I don't have very good taste, but I think it tastes pretty good till like day three. Okay, yeah, good. okay, one to three days for your wine, <laughs> get drinking. Mayor, thank you so much, I love that.